It's Tuesday night, 10 o'clock. I know we, this post is a little late, but we're going to get right into it. This is for a um, post we're supposed to have on Monday night. All right, so at the top of our list, we have uh, AMX, which is at 1298, closing at a lower highs, which has kind of formed a regression channel here. I'm going to remove this uh, Fibonacci so you can see it. Um, there was a test at support, and uh, which became resistance and a fail um, on Friday night, or actually on Monday night. Um, and that post popped, that allowed it to pop up to about 70, I'm sorry, 13 and some change for a high today. Um, it kind of went back and tested uh, resistance from previous, earlier this week, from previous week's resistance points that we pointed out. Um, and it failed. So as you see here, it can continue to fail and now it touches the bottom of what appears to be a regression channel. Um, it still is kind of staying on the institutional money. Um, be careful trading that. Uh, and that's a that's more of a short squeeze that we had for the week. Next one up is PPC. You guys got to excuse me. I have a slight cold. Uh, PPC. Um, so PPC is interesting. That was on our list last week also. But at a high of 2179, uh, I'm sorry, today, close out of 2179, had a high earlier today at 2221. And it was kind of supposed to move, you know, from our pick on yesterday and move up, which it did um, at, at that high area of 21. I'm sorry, 2221. And we saw a spike for that high today, and now it's coming back down to previous resistance areas from which became support from earlier this week and actually last week as well, as you see here. So this is one of the key support areas that we noticed in this particular trend. Uh, I don't have there. Let's go into a deeper candle so you can actually see what I posted here. So that support area was identified here. Yeah, let's do one hour. Uh, actually, we'll even go to daily chart so you can see it as well. So you see that? Those are those support areas and uh, resistance areas that would exist um, for any uh, uh, retracement that would, uh, would actually happen or would not happen. So right now it's being tested. It's testing the support area from a previous resistance area, even though you see the wicks here. Let's look at the full body candle close. That's where the price action actually, you know, did take place so it's still an area to you know speculation all right um you know hopefully we can see if it either tests the support or push back further down the 21 area um if not you know it could move all the way up past that to uh, new levels uh and actually new highs in the 2256 area um so it's kind of up in the air VMware, that's the next one. Wow, VMware is an interesting chart. I know it's stuff all over the place on this. So let's go in a little bit a little bit deeper, take a look. So you see here, this is areas of uh, resistance that became actually support uh, for this particular stock over the course of the last, I don't know, week or so. So if you look at a low last Friday at 72.65, and we've had consolidation, a move up, and then back to consolidation, a nice push here on Wednesday and Thursday, which was expiration day for a lot of weekly stocks. Um, a lot of this took place on the overnight. And this you can just see this changes here, here and here, because 9 o'clock is when the market actually opens. So a lot of this overnight um, or, or pre-market, post-market action took place in these areas. And then now you see we had a failure of um, resistance here. Actually, and I, we're going to drill further out so you can see what I'm talking about. So we had a failure on resistance here. Some more consolidation in overnight, pre-market, pre post-market. And uh, finally, a push through. But on not, it wasn't as strong of a push or move because we kind of found a little micro trend here on that dead cat bounce process where, you know, you're between, you know, 10 to 20 cent um, in that space. More consolidation, a nice move up to 79 15, but we actually said, okay, look, this stock hasn't really been doing too, too much. Um, we and we put a post out for it. I don't know what happened to it uh, on on Monday night as a part of Monday night pick. And then the next morning, I had a spike at 79.15 um, and then a failure um, back to its initial uh, support area at the uh, 78, 77.80, 77.82 space. That's a definite short squeeze if you were actually going to 
get in quickly and this is all short term stuff so you want to get in quickly make a few bucks ride it out and then hey it's it's already gone so let's go further back let's talk about the long term support and resistance and area key areas of of where it's failing as you can see here on the Fibonacci chart at a 50% regression or retracement from its high at 100 early as far back as 2000 was at 14 um, in May 50% of that occurred maybe around December 2014 as well. Well, that area became a key support area um, to prevent any further moves down, even though we did have a break further, like later in the year, like around 2015, um, that area still remained key as a support possible, resist as a support area for all of 2014 and most of 2015. So it's very likely that that area will be a resistance area as well. So it's already kind of tapped into like a mid resistance range between 77, was it 77, 90, uh, 97, and this 80, 73 space. Um, you know, hopefully we can have a move up, but if it does not break resistance at this area, which is a highly supported area at that 50% mark um, for that retracement, then we're looking at a possible move back down to uh, a next key area, which could be in the uh, 69s. So we'll see what happens. And uh, that's the end of the broadcast. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter and our uh, YouTube channel. And uh, we do have Facebook as well. So send, us, send me a, a shout out on Facebook, Adrian Reese on Facebook. All right, you guys have a good night. Thank you.